You see this gentleman? You gotta see brother. He rode with the son of Genghis Khan. This is the Black Mongolia. When you go to China and Mongolia, under the picture it says Black Mongolia. He was one of the most famous generals of all Kublai Khan, your brother. And where is this brother from? In Asia, your brother, your brother. I told you about that 8,000 year old house with the toilets. They found, alhamdulillah, they found a picture of one of the princesses. I was so scared white people were gonna try to claim it. They did claim it. They claimed it until they found this picture. Then they said it was from outer space. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I, you may not, this may not mean anything to you, but for me to know what we have come from. Toilets, 8,000 years ago, we can't already fix our toilet today. <laughs> we were the first on earth to have them. Here is the sister found in that ancient kingdom that spread throughout India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, all the way to Russia. Here's a picture of the ruin. This is what they built in those days. The Harappan Society. These are your ancestors. They came from Africa. And they led the world. The great prophet Buddha I want you to look carefully. <laughs> Bring the Harvard professor here. I want him. <laughs> Tell him how the Dela Tata Galman sword wants him at the slave. Yeah. <laughs> I want him to explain this. Yeah. I want him to explain this. If Buddha were black and Jesus was black, and Muhammad was black, what are we ashamed of? <laughs> I told you about those brothers down in Mexico. Here is Old Mex. And this is a brother in South Africa, so you can see there's no white man that looks like this. Doesn't look like George Bush. <laughs> Long before Columbus. Long before Columbus. Maybe I just saw a stop. Maybe I was talking. <laughs> if you give me a generous round of applause, I will go on. to my next topic. <laughs> and that is, if we did all these things you said, built pyramids, built the Zimbabwe ruins, had gold, had silver, had Chinese coming to visit us, we went to visit them, we married their daughter, they married our sons. If we did all of this, what happened? What put us in the condition we are in today. That's what your children want to know. That's why they're taking drugs. That's why they're raping on the streets. They're angry. They're mad. They don't want to hear anything. They don't feel that they have anything. They feel they have no future. 
they are going to slap you, they're going to curse you, because they hold you responsible for their predicament. You can't ignore this. We must answer our children what happened. I hope I don't become overly angry. But occasionally, I go off. When I think from the traditions of pride and achievement, when I think that our blood is everywhere and the world look to us for direction, and one of our young sons lived a million six hundred thousand years ago. And I see the condition we are in now. It is hard. I just got through reading a book calling The Bullwhip Day. Interviewing slaves who told the story of slavery. And I couldn't read the book all in one sitting. I had to read it in installments. Nothing like this has ever happened to any human race in the world. Do you realize that there were 100 million who were snatched from Africa? That's what stopped the progress of Africa. If you took out of the American population over one half and just threw them in the water, what would happen to the country? You see what is happening with everyone in place, the potholes and the bridges falling apart? What would happen if you took the engineers?